Uh, speaking of the pandemic, uh, Uber, I'm watching Uber today. Uber drivers striking today in New York, protesting over the company's move to block a pay hike passed by New York's Taxi and Limo Commission. Drivers formed a caravan across the Brooklyn Bridge during morning rush hour, giving up pay to show their displeasure over that New York judge granting Uber a temporary restraining order over that raise that was supposed to take place on Monday, affecting 80,000 drivers. Now, I took an Uber this morning to work, and there was actually plenty of them Fancy out of there. You. Well, you know, I had to get from A to B pretty quickly. But there was uh, plenty of drivers out there, so I'm not sure if they can actually mobilize. Like, you know, without a union, they can't mobilize everybody to strike. Yeah. Uh, and cause, you know, some kind of great My thoughts exactly. They don't have a whole lot of leverage here because there's an army of Uber drivers just waiting to take their mm -hmm. place right behind them and flip their switch on if you go off. I, in fact, been watching it all day, and I was shocked to see Uber prices below their usual rate. And Uber rarely puts that on their app, but they put it on three different times when I looked, clearly sending a signal, we're not impacted by that. But they say they did impact a 20 to $23 million charge if that pay raise went in, and that would raise prices by 10% here in New York City, prices have already gone up dramatically on the Uber app. So we'll see. It doesn't appear to be working so well. My